Good evening, everyone. It's Michael from Broke JMR, and I have a new musings for you. My thoughts for the day. And no, it's not going to be a rant like last time. It's going to be something to make you think a little bit. And hopefully, when I'm done with this, you will maybe listen to some things in a different light. First of all, I'd like to say thank you to everyone who watched my last vlog entry. I was not my normal self in that one, um, but apparently a lot of people watched it and a lot of people uh, liked it, so maybe I should start venting more often but I'm gonna change those few and far between because if I just let things built up apparently it's better for viewers for my viewership whatever but <clears throat> today I'm going to talk about Christmas songs um, we've been playing Christmas music for the past oh, I don't know a week and a half or something at work and I've been wanting to do this little entry for a while now, but out of respect for the Thanksgiving holiday, I have decided to wait until it was over. Well, Thanksgiving is over. Now we can officially start Christmas. Um, and so I'm going to talk about um, four Christmas songs and how the meanings, in my opinion, are not exactly wholesome. Um, I'm not going to touch uh, traditional um, sacred Christmas hymns. Um, I'm going to talk mostly about uh, secular music, actually all about secular music and secular Christmas songs, <coughs> and how hopefully once you uh, when you're done with watching this, maybe you might think a little different about some of these songs. Um, First song I'm going to talk about is, um, I'm going to start a little light on this, um, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Think about Rudolph as, not necessarily as a song, but as a character. Rudolph was a younger, weaker reindeer who had a deformity. And because of his deformity, um, the other reindeers used to laugh and call him names and never let him play their reindeer games. Are you starting to see where I'm going with this? The other 12 or 11 reindeer, however many there are, are bullies. Think about it. He was, Rudolph was different, so the other reindeers bullied him. They never accepted him. And it wasn't until one foggy Christmas Eve that Santa needed Rudolph's help. And they never mention if Rudolph is ever bullied by Santa Claus. I would like to hopefully not think that, but... Rudolph saves the day with his deformity. And then all of a sudden, all the other reindeers loved him and shouted out with glee. It wasn't until Rudolph pulled their asses out of the fire and do the job that they are meant to do but couldn't do that they like him. I'm sorry, if I'd have been Rudolph, I would not have accepted any apology from them. I would not have accepted any adoration or anything because they're the other reindeer are two-faced hypocrites. Now, maybe they learn their lesson, blah, blah, blah. Maybe I'm just being a half uh, glass empty type of person, but I'm sorry. Poor little Rudolph was always bullied, and he's going to turn around and forgive the, their, his attackers? I don't think so. So let's go on. 
Santa baby. Think about the things that this young lady asks for. A sable, a light blue 1954 convertible, a yacht, a deed to a platinum mine, a duplex, checks, Tiffany Christmas decorations, and a ring. This is not what Christmas is about. Christmas is not about wanting things. Christmas is supposed to be about happiness and family time and celebrating the birth of the Christ child. Bitch is a gold digger. He, she is wanting a sugar daddy. And she wants Santa Claus to be the sugar daddy. Now, necessarily, is she talking about Santa? I don't know. She could be talking about a guy that she's trying to get with. But she's a gold digger. Who else wants all that stuff in return for nothing? She's a gold digger. Think about it. Last Christmas. This is actually one of my favorite Christmas songs. And I'm talking about the version from Wham, not necessarily other covers. But this year, um, I actually really listened to it, and this song is depressing. It is so depressing. The guy in the song is, I feel bad for him. He loves the girl with everything that is in him. He loves her with all of her heart. He's always there for her, always doing things for her. But does she re reciprocate the love? No. She just takes his heart, crushes it, steps through it with a stiletto heel and do as a Mexican hat dance on it. She's just using him. If you think about it, she's just using him. And it's so depressing because she's such a bitch. And you would think that the guy would learn his lesson, but no, I don't think he ever does. It's so depressing. And for a Christmas song, I can see why suicide rates go up around Christmas. Um, there's two specific verses I would like to talk about that actually I really in, uh, brings this point home. Uh, once bitten and twice shy, I keep my distance, but you're still catching my eye. Tell me, baby, do you recognize me? Well, it's been a year. It doesn't surprise me. He even changes for her, and she doesn't accept him whatsoever. A crowded room, friends with tired eyes. I'm hiding from you and your soul of ice. My God, I thought you were somebody to rely on. Me, I guess I was just a shoulder to cry on. I feel bad for this guy. He loves this woman with everything. All he wants to do is be happy. And he even says, to save tears, I'm going to give my heart to somebody special next time. Well, every time that happens... He always gets his heart stomped on because she just gives his heart away and doesn't care about him whatsoever. Wow. Who? Yeah. That would make me want to put a bullet in my head too. But as depressing as this song is, I actually still like it because... Not everything about Christmas has to be all happy and go lucky, blah, blah, blah. Last <laughs> song I want to talk about, Let It Snow. It's a very simple song. There's, not, there's only four verses to it, and everybody knows the song. Um, most recently, everybody knows the song from the Campbell Soup commercial that's been playing for the past pff, forever. The snowman walks in, it's a little boy who's covered in snow and 
he's all cold and everything and he has the bowl of Campbell's tomato soup and warms up and the snow melts off of him and he's got bright eyes and happiness and it's Christmas and it's wonderful and everything's lovely and blah blah blah. No, the song is about a guy and a girl who go on a date and he's trying to get laid. That's what the song's about. Think about it. It's the story of a guy and a girl having a date. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. And since we have no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. They're inside a house around a fireplace, enjoying the, each other's comfort. It's trying to stay warm. It doesn't show signs of stopping, and I bought some corn for popping. The lights are turned way down low, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. They've got snacks. They've got low lights, fire, romance. Do you see where this is going? Please tell me you see where this is going. It's starting, things are starting to get heated up. When we finally kiss goodnight, how I'll hate going out in the storm. But if you hold me tight, all the way I home, I'll be warm. They start making out. Things are getting hot and heavy. He doesn't want to leave. He just wants some. So the fire is slowly dying, and my dear, we're still goodbying. But as long as you love me so, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. They've been making out for so long that the fire in the fireplace is going out. And he says, as long as you love me so, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. As long as you will keep making out with me, and as long as we can get closer and closer, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. So I don't have to leave this place. The guy's just trying to get laid. Think about it. It's such an innocent song, but if you really think about the lyrics and the story that it's tell, the guy's just trying to get him some. Mind blown, I hope. And finally, one last thing as if I haven't ruined Christmas enough for you. Santa Claus is a creep. He's kind of a perv. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good. He sees you when you're naughty. He sees you everything you're doing. He's the NSA. And with that, my dears, I will end this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you think about some of these Christmas songs a little differently. Think about some of the other ones. These are only four of them that I picked out. Think about some other ones. Really listen to the lyrics. Thanks for watching. Blessed be.